YouTube. Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey guys, enjoying another beautiful day here in Central South Carolina. It's about 63 degrees. It's dry. The sun is out. I'm enjoying some Lane 1Q tobacco in my Missouri Mirror Sham Country Gentleman Pipe Corn Cob. And I thought I would share a knife with you that has a little bit of a history to it. This knife was made by a very famous world renowned a uh, knife maker who was born in North South Carolina, which is about 35 miles from where I live. And unfortunately, he passed away in 2011 in a motorcycle accident in North South Carolina. But he was a great knife maker, made a great name for himself, had some wonderful knife designs. And I'm talking about, if you haven't figured it out, Blackie Collins. Not only did Blackie Collins make a name for himself as a knife designer and knife maker, but he started what is now known as Blade Magazine. And... Even though he's no longer with us, his legacy lives on in his knives. And I am honored to own one of those knives. And in fact, uh, the knife that I own, there were only 1,075 of these knives made all together. So I'm fortunate to own one of only 1,075 Blackie Collins knives. And I'm talking about the knife that he called the combat master let me show it to you this is it now you probably won't be able to catch this on the camera I don't know because of the finish and the lighting but you'll see all it says on the blade right there is Blackie Collins that is the only type of markings that are on the blade now a little bit of a history about this blade. It came out back in 1985. Back in the mid 80s the survival knife craze hit really big. Due mainly in part to the movie Rambo. And this is Blackie Collins only entry into that category of knives. The survival knife category. If you're asking what makes that a survival knife, it looks just like a Bowie knife. Well, if you look in the handle there, there's a little screw. And if you unscrew that screw, you can take the handle apart. This knife features a very unique split tang system. Yeah, so it, 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 it's hollow in between the split tang. So the tang of the knife comes out into two pieces back to about here. And the inner part is a compartment where you can put a little survival kit. Some matches, um, some tinder, maybe a little fishing kit. So that's why it's categorized as a survival knife. But yeah, let me uh, share a little bit more about the details of the blade with you now. The overall length of the knife is 12 and 5 eighths inches. The blade itself is 8 inches. The steel is Sandvik 13C. 26 stainless steel. It has a reinforced DuPont nylon glass handle 
and Blackie Collins was the first to introduce this type of handle material in knives. The knife weighs right at one pound. And like I say, it has a double tang. And the inner compartment inside of the handle. Now the sheath is made with a 9 ounce cowhide leather backing. You've got two buckles for the loop. And the front is made out of 1,000 denier Cordura. And like I say, this knife retailed for $125 brand new back in 1985. Now, the sheath originally on the front had a camo pattern. I changed it and painted it black. It also has on the leather backing there a hole that you can put a strap through and use it as a leg strap since it is so long. And then you have a nice snap here. So when the knife is in the sheath, you can see how it's contoured. Even with this little swerve here, the knife fits perfectly into the sheath. And it does have a nice tight snap there. So the retention is perfect. I have used it with that strap as a leg strap before. I no longer carry this knife and I no longer use it. And I really like that high polished mirror finish. Years ago. But anyway, you have a Blackie Collins Combat Master. It's a great knife great piece of history only 1075 were ever produced and like I say I, now that I know more about this knife I'm probably not going to use it again but the history with me and my with me and this knife uh, means even more um, this knife was purchased back in 1995 not by myself but by my brother and unfortunately he passed away back in 2009 and I inherited this knife along with many other knives that he owned and uh, so for that reason it's going into retirement and it's just gonna be a show item and uh, just thought I would share that with you on this beautiful day I hope you guys are having a good holiday season and getting excited about Christmas. I love this is my favorite time of the year. I just wish that the weather would reflect it a little bit more. Anyway guys, we're edging up closer to 1900 subscribers. And don't forget, when I hit 2000, I got a great giveaway that I'm going to be doing. I guess I'll let it go so this video doesn't get long. Till next time, guys, keep calm, carry on, keep puffing, and keep it outdoors.